Hey, this is Chris from MBB's Review, bringing you a new video review of Commander Class Transformers Prime Megatron with Cyber Sword. I got once, obviously, Decepticon Cyberverse, the new class that came out, first came out with Dark of the Moon. Actually, don't mind these. They look pretty swell. Um, it says Decepticon leader. Uh, it says commander. A Transformers Club highly recommended. Six issues a year. Free Transformer exclusive uh, figure. And also a, a percentage off special, f uh, special selective figures. Uh, just to bring a quick view out, here's. Uh, Series 204, Strength 10, Intelligence 10, Speed 9, Endurance 10, Rank 10, Creek 7, Fire Blast 10, and Abilities or Skills 8. So, yeah, he's again states Decepticon Alliance. This is what I'm going to show you guys. It is awesome to keep these stat cards. Thank you, Hasbro, for these again. It's great to have something from G1 represented. Otherwise, from other BotCon exclusives. Uh, so, uh, this is him in his uh, Cybertronian chat mode. Uh, comes with a little per clear purple uh, sword. So, yeah. And here's a good look. Very nice detailing. Um, it's kind of normal for him to have um, visible head syndrome. I'm Megatron. I'm staring you down. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty nice. You can see both of his arms, his cannon, which forms the jet, which is basic. And that's pretty much it. Again, it's the legs. <laughs> You're pretty much just squatting down the robot. So, um, I'm going to show you guys something that I actually discovered. Um, move this out of the way. Put these guys forward. Like this. He's got like a two-headed rhinosaurus uh, fish kind of thing. Going on for him. Because look. Uh, you put flip these out. Though, these make up the tail. And this makes up the head. The head I should be saying. <sighs> okay so. Enough Tom Fulry. Um, Flip. It's actually on a double hinge. So bring up the first hinge. So the shoulder levels. Shoulders level properly. Bring it down. Separate the arm. It's this side is pegged into this side. So unpeg. Swivel forward. Then you're going to need to move this back. Rotate. Move it forward so you have this cannon forming. Then just move these back a bit. So you can turn them in like that. Make sure this clips. Bring his arms forward and everything. Then you get here to the legs, which is actually kind of... So you just pretty much bend them up forward like this. I had a problem with mine. They were This part here was loose. So each time I tried moving, uh, bending it, this would actually move instead of the knee. So I tightened that up and I got a nice tight knee area so it stands. So there you got him. Focus. In robot mode. Um, he does offer uh, good lighting. I just do not. He has a good amount of 
clear plastic on them, which is actually, that's to go with, uh, for the Decepticons, it's uh, the drill tank, and um, I forgot the other, but uh, all of the commander classes have this, which allows light to go through th through the chest, and so you would have a purple light plug in here, and his whole chest would light up. There's one tiny little peg. Now you bring in his little sword companion, or little sword. Clear plastic, same clear plastic. It goes, there's that little pig there. I don't know if I'm going to use what I use for light to reverse the process using the front. No, should be right there. There's another, there's a peg there. Well, this, if you, on the right side, this side, uh, flip it upside down. You can plug it in right there. So, yeah. So, if you're ever wondering if that circuit ever be stored another way in robot mode, yes, it can, but now... This is what was the point of this this sword. Uh, the arms are two completely different molds. They have to be because, first of all, he's got the ray, so he needs the ball joint. But for the added uh, thing here, it gave you clear pl a clear plastic sword, so you can plug it in there. I think this is supposed to represent, like, I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but I'm thinking Dark Energon sword he has coming out of his wrist. So it goes... Pfft. And what's great about that little thing is, uh, let me move Megatron aside. Bring in Evac from the, uh, from the same line and grab his Autobot gun and it plugs into it. So it gives you, it allows you interconnectivity kind of thing between other side reverse connectors in the toy line so here again here's another way you can combine uh, I think I've gone pretty much over everything um, actually let's transform back to um, robot vehicle mode just so we have uh, I show you guys some of the important details. So here, let's start with the uh, with the chest. So you're gonna want to grab the great piece here on the crotch, give it a good little flick. If you're a little kid, a good um good little lift and. Yeah, then you got Megatron here. When these are pulled, you got to pull these. They're on a little hand joint, so you fold them out. Once you have them probably folded out, you will feel a little click. And for you to know it's in the proper position. Now here, uh, you got a peggle here. You got to flip this 180 from when you had it in robot mode. It's going to peg into that hole. And you just have to adjust the arms. Once it's um, done properly, then you uh, flip your ball joint. You literally almost break his legs. You turn them 90 to so the little uh, slits here, face um, outside of the undercarriage here. Then you're going to bend the first knee. The, where this actually connects and you're going to bring it in to a little hole to a um, focus you're going to put it in right there on both sides 
So, got that one. Got that one. So, yeah. And you pretty basically got him into vehicle. He was supposed to sit like on his back butt piece. Don't forget, this is a cyberverse, it's not that great. Uh, so, yeah, you can. I got this little stand there, it's this little extra hole which I can. Allows me to put this on there. And I got a little displacement. So that was um, Megatron's transformation from vehicle to robot to vehicle. Uh, again, the clear plastic can be lit up in this mode. I have no clue about Compabat. I can't say the word, but how it works with uh, the giant Cybertron. Uh, Cybertron and Drill. But they haven't transformed Prime. I have no clue. Uh, just for the toy makers out there. Hasbro, come on. Release the Autobot ship. Uh, not the Autobot ship, but the Decepticon ship playset. We need it. We have a Megatron. We have the rest of the line. We need the ship. Come on. There's Optimus Prime. Doesn't have a trailer. Which I find kind of uh, rude. But. It's. Um, it's Optimus Prime without a trailer. So just for a quick size comparison. In this mode. I brought. A McDonald's toy out. Um. I brought out animated Starscream McDonald's toy. Uh, yeah. This guy's still fairly larger. This guy's still fairly larger than this guy in any, method, in any way you measure him. Hasbro shrinking big budget. But this was Chris from MBB Reviews for with. Transformers Prime. Well, Transformers Prime. Transformers Prime, Prime, Prime. Megatron, aka Megadork. See you next time.